Hello YouTube, welcome to part three of my winter of uh, 2023 Lotus Elise projects. So currently I'm waiting for some parts uh, to complete things that I have going on in, in the engine. So we're gonna focus on some interior stuff. So what I've done is I lowered the car down to give me easy access and not having to crouch down, but show you a little bit of my interior so currently um, I have carbon fiber the panel cover I also have carbon fiber seats and carbon fiber center console uh, a lot of these just kind of came about doing different purchases through the years uh, that I own it so the one thing that was left uh, and I kind of wanted the lower portion i don't want to do the dash or anything like that is these side sills so what i have is i have some greg racing part carbon fiber side sills and what i'm gonna do if you guys can see this the factory one that gets scuffed right here when you put your feet in and out so i'm going to install them but i'm not going to use them till i can get a clear bra or some sort uh lay down at least to up here so that I don't um, scuff up my new interior parts but at least for now I can start the process of installing it so I'm gonna look up how to take these side sills off and I'll get to working on that all right I got these off I had to struggle a little bit there's basically the uh, coin pocket there's two screws here you have to uh, lift the rubber mat here off, exposing two screws. Those two screws are pretty hard to get to. What I had to do was get a tool like this and basically work at it at an angle like this. If you use a screwdriver, it doesn't quite have the angle to go down, so you end up having to work like this. And then after that, there was one screw on the side that goes in there. And then basically there was a double-sided tape so work this loose, I end up prying it open and cutting this, and then after that, you just kind of lift up and then move to the back. It looks like one of my screw holes was already kind of damaged, so just expose that. So, uh, came out pretty easy. I think I'm going to have to clean everything up here, and let me dry fit the new one and see how it fits and where I need to put some double-sided tape. The uh, the old one has has uh, let me flip this over has some looks like foam and looks like there's a foam pad here. I'm gonna see if I need to transfer that over to the new one or not. This double sided tape was on this side. I had to cut that. And there's kind of various foams throughout the side here. Uh, there's a foam going through there. Um, and yeah, so let me try to fit the new one on. All right, just dry fitting everything right now. Looks like I have to drill my own hole here. Or if I don't wanna put that nut on, I can probably use double-sided tape. Obviously, I have to push this up into it. And there's two screws here, so. And the two screw holes in here are drilled. So, I might not install that. We'll see. <clears throat> It, it does look like there's a little bit of wiggle in there, so I think I might have to put a little bit of foam down. I think these, uh, you know, this part has like a, some depth to it, and also there's a little piece of foam here. I do have some foam that I'll use that I can, a little foam pads. Uh, I'll see what, what ends up making it feel great. There was a double-sided tape in here that was a real pain to clean off. I got that cleaned off. That is one of the uh, uh, tape strips. And for you guys that haven't seen inside of a Lotus before, these are the extruded aluminum and these are epoxied bonded together. So kind of cool. That goes up there. And then I think they extrude this one and then make the cuts here. So this looks like duct tape, but it was tape like that from the factory so let me uh, start cleaning a little bit and work on what I got to do with pads here and what that looks like 
All right, so this is what I figured out. There was a little gap here. Uh, if I had put the carbon fiber one, you basically can push it. So I put this foam piece there. I did transfer this piece from the factory one. Uh, I got a 3M sided here. This 3M cleaned everything real good. Uh, this the uh, this piece was stuck to the uh, plastic, so I'm just gonna line them up, and when I push down, hopefully that will stick to that. And then cleaned everything really well. And on this one, it's gonna be on the inside edge. I put a strip of 3M there as well. So I'm gonna install it, and then uh, when I'm when I got it lined up, I'm just gonna peel these off. So let's uh, let's let's get to doing that. I'm gonna start trying to get it in there. All right, I got it fit in there. Uh, so it ends up being this dimension slightly off, or or there's just uh, not as not as a uh, same angle, but there's a slight squeeze here. Over here, it fits really well. Uh, there's a little bit of more gap or so than than the factory. I'm gonna do a little tweaking and adjusting, see if I can get that gap to close down. Maybe bring that top down, or or somehow. But overall, I think it's a uh, improvement to the scratch plastic one. And I'm going to go repeat on the other side. And before I get into this car, I'm going to put a clear bra type material onto here. So I don't usually scuff right here. So really, you only need half of it. But I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. So that is going to be that for this side. I'm going to go ahead and start working on the other side. All right. <clears throat> So this is another day. <clears throat> uh, try to fiddle with this to try to get that gap pretty good. But <clears throat> I think these are just, the connections here are just not, they seem to be tilted back more. Uh, what I did is I took out all that foam that I had installed there. That foam was pretty good and it, it, it made it so it doesn't feel, you know, so hollow here. But what it ended up doing is end up kind of pulling on this tape a little bit making a gap there so as it sits now you know it's there's a little give under here I think if you find the right foam maybe the foam that I used was a little too dense so if you find the right foam it may help but overall I mean it's in there so I'm gonna I tried fiddling with this a lot and I just believe that this top needs to basically get pushed in more I'm going to try a few things uh, a little later to try to get that gap closed or at least put something over here to make sure I don't see that gap. But, you know, it's a carbon fiber product and in their website they say there's some adjustment and trimming available uh, you have to do. So I would say that this, this gap is uh, what, what it looks like here is the same on that side. So they're, they're uh, consistently on, on those gaps. So I'm going to move on to something else and maybe come back and at a later date try to get that gap better. But for right now, this is installed. <laughs> 